Why narcissists move on so quickly after discard? It doesn't take long until the narcissist has found someone else. And then they act like they're so much happier without you. They move on very fast after they discard you and even after you discard them. They do this because they want to hurt you. Which is why they will often be very open about their new relationship. Because they want to punish you. They want you to think that they never cared about you. And the truth is, they never did care about you. You were nothing more than a convenience to the narcissist. But you may have cared about them. You may have had their best interest in mind. Which is why you feel so down when they leave you or when you leave them. You were trauma bonded with the narcissist. You developed an attachment to them. But the narcissist never attached to you. They only wanted you around because of what you could do for them or how you could make them feel rather than the person you are which is why they move on so quickly after the discard. After a while they get bored of you. They want attention from someone else. They want someone who will believe their lies and validate their false image. But once you've been with them long enough, you know they're full of it. So they're looking for someone else who will be more susceptible to their manipulation. Narcissists move on very quickly after the discard because they don't self-reflect. They think everything was your fault and that is why they're leaving. That is why they need to find someone to replace you. Because you're a bad person and you could never do anything right. Which is probably a very similar story to what they told you about the last person that they were with. But even when they find someone else, it never lasts long. And that is when they may come back to you. But even if they don't, that doesn't mean you have to search for them. Many victims end up seeking validation from the narcissist after the discard. Or they always want to know what the narcissist is doing. So they go on their social media. But this is really not healthy for you. 
and it will only prolong the healing process. It is better to put the focus back on yourself rather than giving your attention to someone who is never going to give you the closure you need. Because when you do that, you're giving them the ability to control you and they enjoy it. They get off in it. Because they like to see you experiencing the emotions that they refuse to accept in themselves. It's like they're regulating their emotions through you. The narcissist may move on with someone else and you may already know what is about to happen to them but there's really no point in reaching out to them. There's no point in trying to help them because they're never going to believe you. The narcissist has told them the same type of story they used when they met you about how their ex is crazy so it's not going to go well for you if you try to warn them they have to figure it out on their own but this is why narcissists move on so quickly Because once you've seen through the illusion, they don't gain much by staying. They could gain a lot more by being with someone they're able to fool. Just as when they fooled you. That's when they extracted the most out of you. The narcissist is essentially a con artist. And they're always on the run, looking for another unsuspecting victim. You just have to be thankful that they have moved on. At least they're not bothering you anymore. So enjoy your freedom. Do the things that you love. And live your best life. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.